But before we do that, let's just maybe combine our layers just to keep it organized. Okay, so I'm just going to select layer 17 and hold shift and then just click on layer 2 to select them all and then we'll just do control E to combine them. Alright, I'm just going to zoom in here. So let's just drag a selection around this stuff that's overlapping and we'll just delete it quickly. Okay, delete. And then let's paste again, control V. And we'll just cover these guys up quickly. Okay, so let's zoom in. Okay, so we'll stick one like that and we'll paste again. And go down to the next one. Let's maybe flip this guy around, so I'm gonna flip them uh, horizontally. And just move it down a bit to a random uh, spot. Right, hit enter to exit transform. And paste again, control V. Alright, so one more. Alright, let's flip this one over, control T, and then right click. Yeah, I'm just going to flip it uh, vertically, I think. Alright, and enter. Alright, so let's combine these uh, four. Hold control, select them, and then control E. Alright, I'm just going to trim them quickly. Alright, so we'll go up to the top here. I'm just going to drag a selection around to all of them. Just want to be careful of the side of the ladder here. Alright, so just drag a selection around. Right down to the bottom here. And then we'll invert it, control shift I, and hit delete to get rid of the rest. Okay, so just going to continue on and we'll move down to the uh, the sideboards here. Okay, so paste again. And we can maybe do two at a time here or even just one. I might try to do two at a time. Okay, so I'm going to just maybe scale this up slightly, holding shift, dragging on the corner. Just try to cover the top two here. Okay, let's move it back a bit so it's not overlapping the other ones. And we'll paste again, and just cover up the bottom one down here. Or just like that, and again. And we'll just continue on, and we'll try to get two again. At a time. Take the scale down just slightly. Alright, and let's maybe uh, just flip this one uh, horizontally, change it up. Hit enter, and paste. Alright, and let's combine these guys. And control E, and I'm just going to trim off this chunk over here that's uh, overlapping. Alright, delete it. Uh, this looks okay here, we don't have any seams crossing the board, so just uh, check that out before you move on. Make sure you get rid of anything. And we'll paste again over here and just uh, do the next couple. So I'm going to flip this one uh, horizontally and vertically. Right, hit enter. I'm just going to worry about the bottom one first. Okay, so we'll move it down. And paste. And we'll cover the next two. And I might just leave it like that. Alright, so let's combine uh, these two together. Control E. And we'll just chop off this part up here that's overlapping. Okay, I'm going to hold down uh, Shift and just add to the selection. I'm just going to go around the ladder post there. Okay, and we'll just make sure we don't cover anything up over here on this side. Just delete it. So we only have a few left. Just continue on doing it the same way. Alright, maybe stick one there and then we'll do the top two. Right, just gonna make sure I get the seam in between them. Okay, and let's combine those two, 28 and 29, Control E, 
and just trim off anything that might be overlapping. Get it off our end pieces here. I right, just want to make sure I don't clip this end of this board here. So just take a bit off and delete. Alright, so just get rid of this too. I have a little piece still there. Alright, delete that. And let's just zoom out. I think that's pretty much most of the wood besides of the beam. Alright, so we'll just do that piece next. And like I mentioned, this uh, piece we've been copying isn't going to fit, so I'm just going to delete that. And we'll go and just recopy the original piece here. Alright, so Control A, Control C. And we can close that now, we don't need it. And we'll just paste it back on one last time. And do Control T. And we'll just hold Shift and scale it. So it's a little smaller. Alright, let's uh, right click it and flip it uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees. Alright, move it down. And I'm going to try to scale this one down to close to the size of the UV chunk there. Alright, this beam is one of the bigger ones on the uh, tower, so we want to try to keep the resolution good on it. Alright, so scale it down so it's close. Right, let's check out the bottom. Alright, maybe a little smaller. Alright, that's probably good, so I'll say enter. And I'm just going to drag a selection around it and just trim off anything that we don't want. Alright, control shift I and delete. Okay, so I think that's all the actual uh, boards. Let's just zoom out and take a look. Alright, we still have the end pieces, we'll do that next. But let's just check this out uh, back in Max and see how it looks. So I'm going to turn off the uh, UV layer and just save. And we'll jump back over and see if it's going to work. Okay, so pretty good actually. It's not looking that bad. Um, I'm just going to change the uh, angle here. Alright, so close that and just spin around. Alright, let's actually get in here somewhat close. Alright, we'll go back into Active Shade. Alright, just check and see, you know, if there's anything that sticks out to you that, you know, needs to be changed. But this looks pretty good. So we'll just uh, continue on and we'll add the uh, end grain here and see how that looks. Alright, so let's do another save. And jump back to Photoshop. Okay, so now that we have pretty much all the wood laid out, let's just combine our layers to keep it organized. Okay, so I'm just going to select all the ones that make up the wood. And we'll do Control E, combine them, and then name it just wood, just so we can keep it organized. Okay, and let's turn our guide layer back on, and we'll just start working on the uh, end grain now. So I'm going to go back to my texture source folder. Okay, and I just have these two different end grains, and these are the only two I found that would really work for this, so if you have other ones, you can uh, use multiple ones if you want to, but I'm just going to, you know, kind of go between the two. Alright, so we'll open them up, and this one, as you can see, is pretty nasty. Uh, we have some huge cracks in it, and it's got, you know, some rust, and there's a nail head right there. So we're going to have to clean this one up, and I'm going to start um, with this one, and this is what I'm going to use on most of the smaller pieces, and I might just randomly use this on some of the bigger beams. Okay, so we'll start with this one, copy it, Control A and C, jump back over and we'll paste it in, Control V, and it's going to be pretty big, so we'll just do Control T and then shift drag it on the corner to scale it down. Alright, I'm going to go pretty small, and we'll just drag it down to the end of our deck boards there, and hit enter, and then we'll zoom in. Okay, so I'm just going to do the deck boards first, and then we'll check it out in Max and see if it's uh, if it's looking right before we move on. So I might just try to get uh, maybe two or four at a time. Uh, let's just scale it down a little bit more here. All right, we might be able to do this in, in groups of four. Okay, so we'll just uh, cover them up there, scale it down to about the width we need. Okay, and hit enter. And I'm just going to leave it there, and I'll copy it again. Control A, C, and then paste with Control V. Okay, and I pasted it up in the center, so I'm just going to drag until it comes into view. All right, and we'll do the next four, and I'm just going to flip this around. So let's do Control T and flip it uh, maybe horizontally, and let's flip it vertically as well. Okay, and we'll just use a random place on the uh, the picture. All right, hit Enter, and then paste again. Alright, move this one up to these guys. Right, 
Let's take this down just a bit. Okay, hit enter, and paste one more time, and we'll just fill in the last two here. Alright, just like that. Okay, so let's combine these uh, four layers. Let's control E, and then I'm just going to drag a selection around our UV chunks. Okay, just be careful you're not going to clip the top. I'm pretty close to doing it, so I'm just going to drag this a little bit bigger. Alright, then we'll do Control shift i and Delete. Okay, so before we move on, let's turn off our, uh, our UVs here and just uh, save this and go back into Max and see if that's going to work out. I'll probably end up sharpening this once we get it all in, but uh, we'll see how it looks right now. Okay, so let's change views. I'm just going to spin around to this side so I can see them. Okay, and we'll turn on Active Shade again. Okay, so that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, the color's fairly even, um, and when we get the dirt on the tower, it's going to help blend this in a little bit more. Um, some of the edge here is just the chamfer, so that's actually not too bad, and I think the size is about right. Okay, so that's probably good to go. Let's just do a save again, and we'll go back and just uh, finish adding it here. Okay, so let's turn the UVs back on. Okay, and we'll paste, control V. Alright, so for the big the big beams here, uh, I might use this on a few of them and then the other end grain texture on the rest. Okay, so let's try to cover up maybe two of them at a time. Alright, I'm just going to scale this down. Okay, maybe just like that, and we'll say enter. And I'm just going to chop the bottom off here. Delete it, and I'm going to save this, turn off the UVs first. Just save, and then check this out in max just to make sure it's going to work. doesn't look too bad. Alright, let's turn on Active Shade again. And if you prefer, you can just, you know, re-render it over and over again if you don't want to use Active Shade. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. Um, I might change one of them up and use the other texture just to, you know, give it a little more randomness. Okay, so let's go grab the other one, this one here. And before we copy it, I'm just going to try to fix these uh, little messes here. Okay, so I'm going to go over and use the uh, healing brush. And if it doesn't show up here, just hold down the uh, left mouse button and then select it in the list. Okay, and I'm just going to alt click somewhere close to the uh, rust mark there. And then just kind of click to try to fill it in. Okay, and I'll do this pretty quickly. If you want to take more time, you can probably clean it up a little better. But uh, it's not probably going to be noticeable when we're done anyway. Let's just clone this crack, I think it might work. Okay, clone that, and I might just crop off this side so we can get rid of this stuff. Alright, so let's go to crop, and I'm just going to grab maybe the center portion of it here. Right, maybe down like this. I'm going to cut off some of that white stuff around the edge here. Alright, so let's move this over so we don't get this big dent in the corner. Maybe like that, maybe a little taller. Okay, and let's uh, hit enter to crop it, and then we'll copy it. Control A, C, and we'll go back and paste it on with Control V. Okay, and this one's massive as well, and it's going to need some color correction, as you can see. Uh, the color's not even close to what we need. Alright, so I'm just going to zoom in here, and we'll just uh, color correct it quickly. Okay, so let's go up to Image Adjustments, and we'll go down to Hue Saturation. Okay, and I'm just going to turn on colorize here, tick that on, and I'm just going to tweak the hue a little bit to get it more yellowy. All right, let's take the saturation down a bit. Maybe we'll lower the lightness a little bit. Right, I don't want to make it too black and white, but it, it can be slightly darker than the rest. Okay, even that's probably good enough. Okay, so we'll try that and say okay, and then let's scale this down. Control T. Right, take it down a bit. All right, maybe like that for now. We'll say enter, and then let's turn our UVs back on. Okay, and we'll just go up to this uh, this second one here, and I'm going to try to stick it on there and see if it looks a little better than the, uh, the one we have on there right now. All right, so let's just get down so we can see. 
Okay, so I'm going to control T this again and scale it down even smaller. Alright, go down and do that. Alright, you want to make sure you grab the corner when you do it. Okay, and we'll just get it kind of the size that fits the uh, end piece there. And we're going to have to be a little bit careful with this one because it has, you know, some fairly large details unlike this one. Okay, so we'll say enter there, and I'm just going to trim it off of here. Alright, we'll delete that, and I'm just going to leave it covering up the other one for now, and we'll turn off the uh, UVs and just uh, check it out. So we'll save again, go back to max, and just see if it looks like it's going to work. Okay, so here it is here, as you can see. Alright, so let's get over there so we can actually see it. Alright, back into active shade. Okay, so that doesn't actually look too bad, and I think we match the color fairly closely. Okay, so close enough. Alright, so I'm just going to zoom back out here. Okay, so that's probably uh, cool for that. Alright, so let's turn back on Active Shade, and then we'll go back to Photoshop. And we'll just keep going here. I'm just going to save again. Always a good idea. And the reason I'm saving so much is just because, you know, I have it recording in the background, Camtasia, and we're working with a 4K map, and we have Photoshop and Max open, so sometimes, you know, that can cause you some problems with crashes. So, better to save often. Alright, so we'll just turn our UVs back on here. Okay, so let's grab layer 6 here, which is the, uh, the ones we originally put on there. And I'm just going to copy that. So, Control A and C, and paste with Control V. And it pasted in the center again, as you can see right here. So I'm just going to uh, drag it down. Okay, and I'm just going to cover up the uh, remaining two ends of the uh, big beams there. Okay, and let's maybe flip this over. So let's control T it, and I'm just going to flip it uh, maybe horizontally, and then we'll flip it vertically. Okay, and even though we're using the same texture here on either end, you can only see one end of those beams at a time when you're looking at the model, so you're not really going to notice if they're the same. Okay, so we'll, we'll try to get away with it. Okay, and we'll just do the same here. And I think, if I remember correctly, these are the uh, ends of the beams underneath the deck. And you're not really going to see this uh, anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we'll just uh, kind of quickly cover them up. Okay, so we'll paste again and just scale it down a little smaller, maybe, for these guys. Alright, enter. And then Control-V again. Actually, let's delete this one. I'm just going to recopy this because I scaled it. Alright, so Control-A-C. Okay, we'll paste again, control V. Okay, we'll just cover up the last one here. Alright, maybe something like that, and then again, paste. Alright, I'm just going to reuse this on all six of them. Alright, so let's just flip it around. If you wanted to, you could also do these, you know, sideways. They don't have to be, you know, up or upright or horizontal. You could put it this way if you wanted to, to change it up, which I might do here. Okay, and let's just chop off that chunk up there. Alright, delete it, and we'll paste again. And I'll just do both these ones out of the same piece. Alright, just like that. And let's just get rid of this chunk down here. Alright, so layer 11. Just hack it off. Alright, and let's check it out back at Max one more time. So we'll save. Jump back over and see. Alright, and if you um, want to have your lights turned off in here so you're just looking at the default lighting, you can do that anytime just by hitting Control L. Okay, and it'll turn the lights back to the default so you can see a little better. Alright, so yeah, again, we're not going to really see those too much anyway, so that's probably fine. Okay, so let's go back, turn our UVs back on. Okay, and we got a few left here to go. Alright, so I'm just going to do these four up here. Alright, so let's paste it again. Okay, and I'll just do maybe... Let's do the second one. With this texture. Alright, this is pretty close to being a little too small, so I'm just going to scale it up. Alright, like that. And then I might go and just grab the other one in a second and just put it on a couple of these. Let's grab uh, layer 7, which I think is the right one. 
Yeah, that's the one we want. And we'll copy it again. Control A, C, and then paste with Control V. Okay, and let's drag it down so we can see it. Okay, there it is. Alright, so I might just overlay this on the first one. I'm just going to move this up to the top of the stack. Okay, just so it's over top. And we'll just stick this uh, on here. Right, I might just uh, move it around slightly. We don't have to put the big split right in the dead center, but uh, maybe I'll try that on this one. Just like that. Okay. Move it over to make sure it's not overlapping the uh, second one there. Okay, and we'll just paste again. And I'm just going to stick this maybe over here. And just use a different part of it. Okay, maybe the bottom corner like that. Alright, and let's just copy this one again. Alright, that's layer 13, so I'm going to select layer 13 and just copy it. And paste it one more time. Alright, it's up in the center again. Okay, so we'll get it down here. I'm going to move it to the top of the uh, stack again, and we'll just cover this one up quickly. Alright, and then let's trim off the part we don't need here on the right. Delete it. Okay, the left's not uh, overlapping, so that's fine. Okay, so let's check this out in Max one more time, and then we're going to have to organize our layers here because we're starting to get kind of a mess. Alright, let's actually get rid of this up here first. I'm just going to figure out what layer that is. Okay, it's 15, so we'll just chop off the top, delete it. Okay, then we'll save. Let's turn off the UVs first. Alright, back to Max. It's going to be a little hard to see. Obviously, under our post, we can't really see it. And the tops, you can just see a slight piece of it. Alright, so I'm just going to spin around and just take a quick look. Make sure there's nothing weird going on. Right, that's probably okay. Okay, so I'm just going to turn Active Shade on here. One more time, and I'm just going to save again before we go back over. And we'll just head back over to Photoshop and just quickly finish these up. We don't have that many left, so I'm just going to fit this back to screen. Turn our UVs back on. Alright, so let's just zoom in back down here again. Alright, so I'm going to combine some of these together. I'm just going to figure out uh, what layer has this uh, texture and this texture on it so I can keep that separate so I can still make copies of it easily. Alright, so layer 8 is one of them. Okay, so layer 7 and layer 8 we're going to keep. So I'm going to select everything else. So 5, 6, 9, all the way up to the top. Okay, and we'll combine those with Control e Alright, just so they're all one layer. Okay, and we covered up one of our pieces there, so I'm just going to grab layer 7 and 8 and just drag them up above layer 16, just so we get that piece back. Okay, and then we'll just continue on here and quickly uh, finish off the rest of these guys. Alright, so let's just do the posts and get them out of the way. So I'm just going to paste again. Alright, and we'll just stick this on these guys. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in there. Alright, control T and just make it a little bigger. And again, we're not really going to be able to see any of these pieces um, when we're done, so you don't need to worry about it too much. Just, you know, slap it on there. Alright, we'll do the same with the uh, bottom of the corner posts here. Just stick... Uh, one of them on like that, maybe. Alright. Control V again. And I'm just going to do Control T and maybe just rotate this randomly 90 degrees. And we'll just cover up this one up here. Okay. Enter. And let's trim that off. We're going to delete that. And we'll cut the bottom off as well. Alright, let's get rid of this little chunk. Okay. And we'll just do it one more time. Control V. Alright, so this one I might just stick on this side, like that, I'm going to move it over a little bit. And then I'm going to copy the other one, which is, uh, I think, layer, I'm just going to move up so I can see a bit better. Alright, layer 7 here, I'm going to copy again, so Control A, C, paste it, and then we'll just drag this uh, down. Alright, there it is. Alright, back down to the corner, drag it down, and we'll just cover up this last one. And again, these are the bottoms of the uh, the posts, so you're never going to really see them. So I'm just going to stick it in the middle like that, and we'll call those done. Okay, so we just have the smaller pieces left. 
right, so this shouldn't take too long. We can cover, you know, three or four at a time. So, so let's select our layer 8 again and just copy it. Control A, C, and paste with Control B. Okay, and I'm just going to drag it back down to the corner. Okay, here it comes. All right, I'm just going to use this one, I think, on pretty much all the small pieces. Okay, so let's just move this up and we'll try to take, you know, four or five of them at a time. I might scale it down a little bit just to improve the quality. Okay, I think I'll just worry about the first four chunks here. Okay, let's take this down a bit. All right, enter. And then I'm going to control A, C, and V to copy and paste it again. All right, get our piece down here. All right, I'm just going to cover up these two ones at the bottom. I'm just going to do it like this. All right, line them up like that, maybe. And then I'm just going to drag around these ones at the top just to make sure I don't cover those up and create a seam there. All right, so just delete the corner out like that. Okay, and we can chop the bottom off as well. And you don't necessarily have to trim all your stuff off, you know, you can just cover it up, but uh, I like to just uh, try to be neat. Alright, so I'm just going to go up to layer 20 here and start pasting these on top. So we'll do Control V again. Okay, and I'm just going to go over and just uh, continue on, try to fill them up. Alright, so we'll try to get all these guys at once. Okay, and paste again. And you can definitely take a lot more time um, and be a little more careful when you're doing this. Um, I'm just trying to be as quick as I can because we do have a lot to do still. But uh, feel free to, you know, take your time. Alright, so let's chop this off. Okay, we'll just fill the last two there. Alright, paste one more time and we'll just uh, stick this over here. I'm just going to flip it around. So let's do maybe horizontal. And we'll just flip it uh, 90 degrees as well. Alright, we'll just stick it up here somewhere. Might just scale it down a little bit more. And you can see on these, because we're scaling them down, it's starting to get a little blurry um, and we're losing some you know, detail, but I'm going to sharpen the whole thing uh, once we combine them all into a single layer. Alright, so don't worry about it too much for now if it looks a little blurry. Alright, let's chop this off. Alright, Control Shift I and Delete. Get rid of it. Okay, one more time. Paste. Alright, we'll try to get the three end ones here. Um, I'm just going to maybe rotate this uh, 9 degrees. And I'll try to cover all three at once. Alright, just want to make sure we're going wide enough. Alright, just like that, and enter. And then we'll just chop the bottom off here. Okay, so I'm just going to save. Turn off the grid first, or the guide. Save, and just check this out one more time in max, and then we'll finish off the rest of them. So that filled in quite a few, um, as you can see. And it's not looking too bad, actually. All right, so let's get in there a little closer. Just take a quick look. All right, it's matching pretty good. All right, especially for how quickly we're we're doing it. All right, the beams look okay. All right, let's check the ladder out. So I'm just going to get up closer and, and just uh, turn on Active Shade again. Alright, so it's looking, it's looking decent. We still have the bottom ones down here. We'll do those next. Okay, so let's just save and we'll go back and finish it off. Okay, so let's just turn the UVs back on and we'll paste again. Control V. And we'll just cover up the uh, rest of them quickly. Scales a little smaller. Alright, enter. Paste again. Alright, let's go along here. Alright, let's just flip this one vertically. Alright, just gonna cut the bottom of this one off. Alright, let's make sure we do it in the right place. Alright, these guys I'm just going to flip it uh, horizontally. 
and they're so spread out on the model that, you know, even if they were placed in here pretty much the exact same, you're probably really not going to notice, but uh, it's always a good idea to flip stuff around just in case. Okay, let's get rid of the end of this one. And I think I'll just use this on the remaining ones, the same texture. You can use that split one if you want to, but uh, it might look a little bit weird on these smaller pieces. Alright, so let's scale slightly. Oops. Go back over here. Just gonna scale it down. Alright, let's move it up, maybe use the bottom part of it. Alright, trash the top here where it's overlapping. Alright, just gonna flip this one vertically. Just let's scale that down slightly smaller, maybe. Okay, and one more time. I'm gonna fill in the remaining ones. Okay, and just one left. This one over here, so I'll paste one last time. And we'll do Control T and just rotate this maybe 90 degrees counterclockwise, and we'll just stuff it in here. Move it up. Maybe a little bigger. Okay, so enter, and we'll just chop off the, uh, the sides of it. And delete. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all the wood. Let's just zoom out and make sure we didn't miss anything. Alright, looks good, so let's turn off the UVs, and we'll just uh, check it out one last time at max. Alright, so save, and we'll go back over and just see how the bottom boards look down here. Alright, so pretty good, I think. Um, it's not looking bad at all. And we are speeding through it somewhat quick. Alright, I only really use this split one uh, up here. Only really in one place that you could actually see it, because uh, the other ones I did it on were, you know, kind of hidden. So, if you wanted to, you know, add this around to some of the other parts that you can see, you could do that. Uh, I think I'll just leave it as is, and uh, I'm just going to turn this back on to Active Shade. Alright, so not bad for a start, and we'll, uh, you know, layer on the dirt, and then we'll do the moss, and, uh, you know, add a little more detail to it. Okay, so save again. Alright, we'll head back over to uh, Photoshop and just combine our wood layers together.